the Chiefs are uh, going into the next year. One of the things I did notice is is that uh, they're th- th- this. This, this is one of those years where if you can win the Super Bowl, let's win the Super Bowl because they're going to have yeah. some contract situations that they're, they're going to have to – they may not be as talented, let's just put it this way, next year because of yeah. that. Especially you got to look on the offensive line. Both tackles are free agents, including their left tackle. So I have no idea um, how that's going to work out. And what a great matchup it's going to be in the Super Bowl is this offensive right. line against that defensive line. So that's yep. going to be probably what the game is won. But you got all these receivers, free agents, so they got to decide what to do with all those guys who are free agents. I mean, pretty much everybody's a free agent, and the only other guy that isn't, Valdez Scanling, and then Sky Moore hasn't done much. Um, right. So they got basically two guys on contract. Um, so, yeah, so offensively, uh, and it looks like they've got their running back one, but they could probably also use another running back, and even if they resign McKinnon. They could probably use another running back there. Um, not that they have to spend high on it. Um, so, yeah, so those on offense, those are some of the things. I think if I'm picking one thing on offense as their number one, besides the obvious, if they can resign the tackles, they're fine. If Even if they – I tell you what, even if they – Brown needs to be resigned. But I think either way, they got to find a right tackle. I don't think Andrew Wiley is anything, you know, that you can feel comfortable with. But I, I, I knowing – knowing Andy Reid, I think wide receiver might end up being their number one in on offense. You know what? I have this image in my head based on watching Nicole Harvin play and you know what he couldn't do with this offense. They gave him the opportunity a few times, got hurt a couple times. I see Jalen Hyatt as a guy that would be a great oh, yeah, fit. Imagine that. Yeah. I just I, I keep seeing it in my head. You know, it, it's the vertical threat. I mean, you're never going to get Tyreek Hill back, and I credit for them that they did not try to fill his role with anybody. You're just not getting that kind of player back. I mean, and they were still fine. Still one of the best offenses, maybe the best passing offense in the NFL. Uh, but uh, uh, the best pot passing offenses in the NFL, they work when you have someone that scares you over the top. And, you know, Mahomes does not throw the ball deep in general. A lot of his throws are short, intermediate. But a lot of the reason why he has space to work with underneath other than the fact that it's just the best offensive scheme and offensive coach in the NFL, in my opinion, is getting guys over the top. And I think Jalen Hyatt, this team is so good that they can do something like that. You know, like, hey, we don't maybe not need a wide right, receiver, but, it, but we're, hey, so, we're, we're rich. We're, we're going to so keep good. being rich. Exactly. And how about, you know, you know who might work out well here, too, is Tank Dell. Yeah, Tank Dell would be kind of like that next option. If they don't go round one, round two. You start looking around three, around four, round oh, five. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, one of those guys. Yeah, especially if he, depending yeah. on how he runs, of course. But if he runs fast, he'll run well. He could he yeah, could be a perfect well. complement uh, yep. to this type of off. So yeah, so uh, defensively, they could now they have three free agents on the interior. So no matter what, they need more defensive tackles. But yep. they, they should really think about adding an upgrade next to Chris Jones because they really don't have a, a, a really top guy next to him. And then edge rusher, I'm thinking, because some of these guys are a little old. And mm, Frank Clark. Yep, yeah. Clark will be a free agent after the year or so. After, you can think about what you want to do with him. But, yeah, I, I can see another edge rusher, again, a 4-3 defense, and, and a cornerback. You know, uh, you can't rely on two seventh rounders. So um, I, I can definitely see a cornerback early, too. Could you see a cornerback uh, maybe even as early as the first round? I'd be surprised because of the resources that they put into that position last year and how well they are playing. So you like the, the right fact now. that even though they're later round draft picks, you think that they're going to be okay with those guys? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, I mean, obviously, if the right value is there, I don't think the guys are good enough to overlook you know, perfect value. But I was talking about this last night with someone. The what the Chiefs are getting out of their rookies on defense is probably the best we've seen in the entire NFL. And it's just like, how is this team now getting this, right? They have Mahomes, they have Kelsey, they have Reed. You can't beat them. And now they have these day three picks that are forcing turnovers against Joe Burrow in the AFC divisional round. It's it's amazing. Um, but I would be a little nervous if they lost Thornhill to free yeah. agency. That's that's the one spot. I mean, you could insert second rounder Brian Cook, who's been playing this year. He's been playing oh, absolutely. well. Absolutely. 
but I would want to have another body in there and I would use you know anything as early as the second rounder on that position for that defense at that. So spot. either way, they they should they should add an early DB. Yes, yeah, that's definitely the way to put it. Absolutely. Okay, and then overall, what do you think? Overall, would it be I, edge I, rusher receiver? Man, I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna assume they're gonna lose one of the tackles. So I, I think they need to right restart tackle. another. Yeah, right tackle. Why they would probably leave him? Yeah, they got to resign. They yeah, got to bring I, back Orlando Brown. They have to. Yeah, I think they'll find a way. You know, I mean, Mahomes' cap numbers are now going up into the forty million numbers now, so it's hard to pay everyone the way you want to. But I think Brown will be back, and if they can draft a right tackle to compete with Lucas Nyang, the third rounder from TCU, yeah, he has um, in twenty twenty. That's that's a that's a name, and you know what? Casey's had some success. A lot of success with drafting offensive linemen outside of round one that come in and start right away and play at a high level. I mean, Creed Humphrey and Trey Smith, I mean, those two guys are taking the sixth, second and sixth round respectively and playing dominant football inside. So if they can find, if they could strike gold again at right tackle, that'd be a, a huge get for them. 